were actually on Armstrong Creek and prior to settlement it was like a paradise. This country had been looked after by my ancestors for thousands of years and as a result it had everything that was needed to survive and live comfortably. Within about 15 years of settlement, the decimation by settlement meant that the numbers of Aboriginal people here in this region had gone from around three to four thousand down to a couple of hundred. My family is descended from one of the last two living full bloods. People in Geelong didn't like Aboriginal people in town. They tried to control us. So they set up a reserve up at Mount Denise, just up at the top of the top of Armstrong Creek, which they thought was very generous. They gratefully put aside one acre and expected the last remnants to live there until they all died out. Well, Willem Barnup was the last one. Of a morning, he'd be up and walk into Geelong. He was born in the middle of Geelong, where Market Square is now. No, Stuart was a brave man who took sympathy on Aboriginal people and he put aside this reserve for them to live on as well. So between Mount Denise and this reserve, there was a couple of good places, but the lifestyle had gone completely. Aboriginal people were now dependent on the government for rations, for food, for everything. I've worked across a lot of country in Victoria and I've gone and seen other works and developments that are happening right across Australia. And Armstrong Creek has to be the best model I've seen because it's looking at the whole development holistically, not broken down into little bits and pieces, but looking at not only the environment and the landscape, but also how the residents interact. And it actually value adds to a development to have something like this here. In about 2005, this was recognised by local government and state government as a growth area. And over the years, we've worked with the developers to try and maintain this creek. We've been able to work with the developers to plan the landscaping and the treatment of this creek all the way from the headwaters all the way down to Connawarri. What that's done has increased the amenity of the area. We've done landscaping works all the way through the Warralulu Estate, all the way down to Reedy Lake. And by moving um, development away, you're actually increasing public open space. So all the way through, you're going to have a creek that is valued. You're going to have an environment that is valued. To me, you can, that's the best outcome we can get. If my people have been coming here for thousands of years and using this as a living area, it means it's a bloody good living area. So why shouldn't it remain the same, a bloody good living area for the residents around here? We can't stop development, but we can help people appreciate what we have.